feel like I'm coming from a place of love and kindness, and I can't get it out right. Right. <laughs> so, Dr. Gottman, when you when you hear couples complain about nagging, where where does that come from? What is what is behind? Well, you know, it? I think it's I think it's only half of the equation. I mean, the other half is, you know, if if my wife said, you know, I'm I'm really annoyed that you know you're not helping in, helping with the housework, and I say, oh, okay, you know, uh, so you know, let's make a plan, and and then I help with the housework. She doesn't have to nag, right? You have to nag when your partner really just blows you off and doesn't respond. Trina, do you feel like your husband blows you off? Oh, yeah. He's very good at that. Do, do you think you blow her off? I think that's, that's a valid point. And, and I think there's productive <laughs> nagging. I mean, and, and I don't want to just single out all men, but me, I mean, there are things I need to be reminded of. There are things I may need some, uh, some extra motivation. There's nothing more motivating than, you know, words from the woman you love. But sometimes it seems like it's nitpicking, like just minor things. Like yeah. we were at dinner last night, and I was talking to the waiter about which iPhone he had and which one I had and which, you know, gadget stuff. And I didn't think it, and she's like, let the guy, leave him alone. You know, he's busy. Why? 